By the way, as a public service, we'd like to remind you that if you did not file a tax return last year and you have children under 17, you must act right now. I think the deadline is this week. You can get the 500 economic impact payment per child, but you have to let them know you're out there. A lot of people who can use this money, make sure you get it done by May 5th. That's tomorrow. You'll get your payment in uh, 2020. Go to irs.gov. Enter your information in the non-filer tool by May 5th. That is tomorrow. Please do that. Back with Dave Rubin, the author of Don't Burn This Book. Dave, it's a it's a really great book, really great book. I read it this weekend, easy to read. Um, it's not surprising that you are getting pushback from the left. I'm sure you saw uh, one of the reviews that came out uh, that just yes, tore yeah. you apart. Uh, and I I think you should respond to some of that when we get into this because it's it's amazing what they're what what they're claiming that you're doing, and uh, they don't they don't see that that's what they do all the time um, but anyway, um, yeah I, I I would like to I would like to go here um, one of the chapters is how to spake uh, uh, to fake spot uh, how to spot fake news uh, and the reason why I bring this up is because we Google as you know is censoring people uh, they are now looking for authoritative sources authoritative voices uh, and the authoritative uh, truth, which should terrify people. You're not an authoritative voice. I'm not one. But we have pretty good uh, records on speaking the truth. A, how do we find fake news and spot it? And B, what do we do about this ban on the exploration of truth? Yeah, so let's do A first. Um, in the book, I talk about four types of fake news. And you know, most people, when they hear fake news, they think usually the easiest version of it is just a made up story. And we get, we get a lot of those. So that's one version, we don't have to get into that because that's the easiest one. The next one to spot is when the headline and the story themselves have almost nothing to do with e each other or directly it's contradict amazing. each other. That, that yes. is one of the biggest things. That one is the type that we see on CNN.com all day long. The, the one that yep. I think is worth expanding on, because I think this is the, the most nefarious one, is fake news by omission. So when something doesn't fit mm -hmm. the narrative of the New York Times or CNN or Washington Post, they will ignore it, ignore it, ignore it, ignore it, while everyone online, everyone in the YouTube world, everyone in you know, the radio world, everyone in Twitter land, will all be talking about a story, literally for months. So this would be like the Epstein story was talked about for months, or uh, the, the new Biden. Joe Biden sexual, yeah, the Biden one. I mean, so let's let's do the Biden one, because this is, this is a current example. So for, for the last two months, I mean, everyone on Twitter and everywhere else has been talking about this Tara Reid thing. Now that in and of itself, of course, does not make it true. So let's set aside and just leave allegations as allegations, which by the way, Allegations against Brett Kavanaugh were just allegations, but the difference, of course, is that Brett Kavanaugh uh, is on the right, he's a conservative, so the media went crazy with it for months, literally thousands of front page articles in every newspaper and every magazine, everywhere. In the midst of Kavanaugh, you'll find this interesting, I was on tour with Jordan Peterson in Europe, and I had people on the streets in Europe literally stopping us to ask us what we thought about Brett Kavanaugh. Now, really think about that for a moment. It had blown up to the point of an international story where people in European streets were asking us about sexual assault allegations about a potential Supreme Court nominee. I mean, that was the level of which the media treated that. Now, for two months, the media basically ignored the Tara Reid story because it didn't fit their narrative, because Biden's a, you know, a quote unquote good guy, a Democrat. And that is a type of fake news. When the New York Times finally ran their first story on it, I believe it was on page 23 or 24, and within the article itself, instead of focusing on the allegations about, uh, about Biden, it had several paragraphs about allegations against Trump, which we can go into those allegations as well, but that's a separate story. So the narrative-driven fake news, I'm much more concerned about, because you've seen this a million times through the hit pieces, that, that many of us have lived through and everything else is that they <laughs> ignore things and then they divert attention. So fake news, we have to stop thinking it's just made up stuff. Yeah. All right, Dave, uh, Dave Rubin, don't burn this book. Uh, back with more from Dave.
in uh, in just a second. Dave was a hardcore uh, guy on the left and has left the left. Now his new book, Don't Burn This Book, is out everywhere.